We hope you enjoyed the Pepper Problem Lab. Let's take a look at some of the concepts you learned about. In the lab, you used the scientific method to figure out how pepper floated on top of the water, then suddenly sunk when soap touched the water. Eventually, you discovered that the force behind this is known as surface tension. In water, a phenomenon occurs known as surface tension. Surface tension is the force of a liquid that allows it to resist an external force. It occurs in all liquids, but is most prevalent in water. It happens because the molecules in water have a tendency to pull away from each other, causing a taut skin on the surface. This phenomenon is what causes round droplets to form, and it is also what allows the pepper to float on the surface. When you dip the straw in soap and then touch the water, you essentially popped the layer of the surface tension and the pepper retreated to the side of the cup and began to sink. If we take a closer look at the molecules in water, we would see that all the particles are pretty much pulling with equal force. However, the molecules on the surface have no molecules above them and therefore are pulled inwards creating an internal pressure that forces the water surface above to be pulled taut. Surface tension has many effects. Have you ever seen leaves on a bush or tree after it rains? If you look closely, you can see the little drops of water that form beads on the leaves. The surface tension of water and the resistant properties of the wax on the leaf allow this to happen. Surface tension allows bugs like water striders to walk or run across the surface. Surface tension is also partly responsible for the separation of oil and water. Oil is pretty much liquid wax. Its molecules behave differently than waters, resulting in a difference in surface tensions that cause the two substances to repel. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helps sum up the Pepper Problem Lab. Next time it rains, think about how surface tension is causing water droplets to form.